one, dear. Is it an old Gestapo custom always to have sardine sandwiches when Geoffrey comes to tea? Always in oil. He likes them in oil. He hates them in oil. Oh. <sighs> well, perhaps he eats them to please you. In my day, a boy climbed mountains and swam oceans for a girl. But everything's altered since decimals came in. <laughs> You're uh, very fond of playing Scrabble, you and Geoffrey. It's for after tea. Hmm? Here we go. Pardon, dear? Mother, I've known you since birth. When you say, hmm, entire empires have crumbled. You're now going to start asking me embarrassing questions. I am not. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Beryl! <laughs> How are things between you and Geoffrey? I am now successfully embarrassed. Congratulations. Oh, don't be silly. No, we've only been going out three weeks and five days. Audrey Wiggins' boyfriend proposed after a week. One, it was stoned out of his head. Two, she had him in half Nelson. And three, it was at a party in the dark and he thought she was marrying Tetlow. <laughs> hasn't he said anything? Well, Geoffrey, hasn't he said anything at all? Who? Beryl, stop saying who or I shall smack your legs. <laughs> he has said one thing. What? If God had meant sardines to be in oil, he'd have given them dipsticks, has that? <laughs> Grace Kelly enticing Prince Rainier by being good at Scrabble. I may be wrong. I beg your pardon. Nothing. I don't believe this conversation between mother and daughter. Beryl, we live in a permissive society. Read any colour supplement. Mother, you're supposed to be my mother. I am, no. And it wasn't through playing Scrabble. <laughs> mother that lies in bed shouting, isn't it time you went home, Geoffrey, whenever we're alone? And banging on with Christian soldiers on the ceiling with your shoe. And making me pull my skirt down every time I stand up. Yes, well, uh, boys are very... You know... I'm not saying... You know... It's just that you mustn't be too... You know... <laughs> I don't mean permissive, permissive. And I am your mother. Oh, I see. I know. Romantic. Pardon me? You see, you've never even heard of it. Kissing, cuddling, whispering sweet nothings. Boys like that. It makes them hear bells. Wedding bells. Well, we do. Do what? You know. What you said. Good. Not too much, I hope. Oh. <laughs> Boys are very funny. They're novices compared to mothers. <laughs> Why aren't you coming tonight, school? Uh, no reason. Meet me in the pub then after. You copy my notes out oh. over the weekend. Uh, right. You're going birding again instead. Oh, well, uh, uh, only for an hour or so, for me tea. Nothing heavy. <laughs> Getting a bit keen on her, aren't you? Who? This Beryl bird. Ah, oh, well, uh, uh, not keen, you know. Little raver, is she? Who? Geoffrey. Say who once more, and I'll dislocate your head. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, uh... She's, uh, she's all right, she's Beryl, you know. It uh, looks good from here, Apollo. All systems go, you know. Does she, uh... <laughs> she doesn't, then. Hey, don't listen, do you? Geoffrey, a little tip. From one who's worked two weeks in London head office and knows what it's all about. I do great. Play it cool. Pardon? Don't try so hard. In fact, don't try at all. Birds only fancy you if you don't fancy them. Why? Oh, because they're awkward. You remember what Venus had tattooed on her chest? No. What we can't have, we want. And what we can, we don't. So pretend you don't. I always do. The same goes to that other bird that fancies you as well. <coughs> ah. 
Hey? <laughs> Freckle face. Ah. Uh. Who? <laughs> Freckle face Lambert, third row at night school. Fancies me? Ah, oh, nuts about you. Oh, pal passed me a note in economic theory. Uh, you play it cool, mate. You'll do okay. Ah, I do anyway. I do great. Birds know better than to play games with me. Yeah, go, Geoffrey. I do know Mrs. Battersby. I'm pondering Mrs. Battersby. I've got two H's. Ah. Thigh. Oh. Thigh. What sort of thigh? Sort at the top of your leg. No, not, not your leg. Any girl's leg. A fella's leg. Uh, people's legs. Your go, Bevel. Alter. Alter. As in Walter, Walter. Pardon? Leave it to the altar. Oh. Cupid. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, uh, isn't that a proper name, Mrs. Battersby? It certainly wasn't intended to be improper, Geoffrey. <laughs> Your go. Oh. Can't you go? Yes, Freckle. Eh? Uh, Beryl. <laughs> well, then. Well. I unfortunately happen to have an ex, Mrs. Battersby. Well? Well, there's only one word I can use it in. Well? <clears throat> well, it uh, happens to be a, th a three-letter word, Mrs. Battersby. <clears throat> Would anyone care to play Snap? <laughs> oh, don't be silly, Geoffrey. We're all over 21. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Y'all go, Beryl. Gooseberry. What? I wonder if Grace Kelly's mother sat up playing Scrabble all night. Pardon? When she was supposed to be at her lampshade making classes. <laughs> oh! Ah, no. Yes, sir. <laughs> Goodness, is that the time? <laughs> Well, I'm very sorry, but I shall have to leave you two lovebirds. Mother? The lampshades are calling. Yes, indeed. Pardon? <laughs> shall we sit on the settee, Geoffrey? It is paid for. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Beryl? Oh! <laughs> There are more sardines in the fridge should the necessity arise. <clears throat> Shall I turn the table lamp on? What's it for? It's not dark. This <laughs> <laughs> broad daylight. Innocent passers by will think somebody's died. Next door will start collecting for a wreath. <laughs> They're not very romantic, are they, Geoffrey? Ah, well, Beryl, um, I have to meet this mate to borrow his lecture notes and, and the bus goes in six and a half minutes. Oh, well, if you don't like me. Oh, well, I, well, I, I do, Beryl, I do, but, um, well, I, I didn't know you'd be feeling so... Well, you did say come round for a game of Scrabble. That was my feminine wiles in action. Oh. Oh, Beryl. Hey, you're a groovy kisser. My nose just fits in that soft bit of your cheek. You are. You smell like bath night. <laughs> when you said about girls' thighs being near the top of the legs... Put your nose back. Well, which girls' thighs? How many girls' thighs have you been out with? I was explaining what the word meant. 
Were they very beautiful girls? Beryl, I'm keeping the bus stop waiting. More beautiful than me? I never want to see you again. All those girls. All with thighs. To each. I'll bet you had a terrible past. Haven't you? Not even a teeny bit terrible. Well, I haven't been out with anyone till you. Oh, the things you men say. Honest. White man speak with forked tongues. It's true. Oh. Except possibly Dorian Gartside. Was she very beautiful? Fantastic. What did she look like? Sid James. <laughs> Percy filth in evidence, then. None. She wouldn't even let me no, touch it. No, don't tell me the sordid details. And you threw her over, and all of them just for me. There, she packed me in after you the first. You did. Oh, Jeffrey, that means you love me more than anybody else. Oh, uh, oh, I see. You are super, Jeffrey. <laughs> well, thanks. Um... Same here. Oh, better. Oh, Jeffrey. 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 No spells, no. You instructed me to be romantic. I only said come round for a game of Scrabble. <laughs> the 43 bus goes in two minutes and it's a 94 yard run to the bus stop. And freckle face. Pardon? Where are you going? You know very well where I'm going. You've just announced me whole timetable. Is that it? Is that what? Good night, Geoffrey. Well, good night, Beryl. Thanks for the sardines and the scrabble. Freckles? Freckle face? How's it going on with your bird, then? Great. Groovy. Did you win? At Scrabble. Pardon? <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very cool, then. How else? Did, um... Did Freckleface say anything to you? She's saying it all to you, mate. With her eyes. What? What I do? <laughs> I thought you knew. Play it cool. Play it cool. Right. Okay. I will. I shall. <laughs> I tell you what. What? I'll play it cool. <laughs> What's happened? Hello, Mum. You're crying. Yes, I know. Beth, you haven't. <laughs> I never trusted him. You can't trust anyone who wears crimson shoes and bottle green socks. No. <laughs> now you see what Scrabble leads to. Yeah. I only said be romantic. And anyway, <laughs> you shouldn't listen to everything I say. Oh, Beryl. What are you crying for? What are you? I'm feeling an onion. <laughs> what for? Do I have to have a reason? People usually do when they suddenly find themselves peeling one. Your generation doesn't understand anything, do you? I want it to. It's a free onion. <laughs> You're not going to cook it? I know spells no. Oh. Just peel it. Yeah. Yes. I think I'm only here for the beer. <laughs> Dear Geoffrey, as you only seem to want me for my sardine sandwiches and scrabble instead of the passionate fire that burns within me, I just don't think you fancy me anymore and we should pack it in. I'll never forget you as you walk through the garden of life. 
I'll always love you for what you were and for what you might have been if you had have been. I remain yours sincerely, Beryl. Excuse the tear stains on this letter. Goodbye, Beryl. Our Scrabble days are over. You care nothing for the passionate fire that burns within me. But man cannot live by bread alone, Beryl. Even with a sardine in the middle. <laughs> Goodbye, Beryl. I've given up Percy Phil forever. Hello, gorgeous. You've been very quiet. Very. It's a strong, silent type. Oh, oh. <laughs> I like his watch strap. It's fabulous. It's terrific. Oh, thanks. I like your thighs. <laughs> what? Pardon? I, I don't fancy her, you know. I in which case, she probably fancies me. In which case, as you're probably dying to have your way with me, at your place or mine. <laughs> He's not a bit nice. Not a bit. Pardon? He's dead big-headed. Dead. I I'm not honest. I thought he was all nice and shy. I did. Oh, I am. I, I, I was playing it cool. He was being hideous. All right. <laughs> Tell it to go away. Carpet. Scram. Yes. Good evening. Get lost. <laughs> I fancy him with a plaster on his neck. Oh, I'd rather have his friend. Mm, always have to be different, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's unusual for a Saturday morning. What? Geoffrey is running. Geoffrey? Oh, how romantic. Unless, of course, he's coming to finish our game of Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> in his nice crimson shoes. <laughs> Morning, Beryl. Morning, Geoffrey. Yes, well, I do believe the washing up's calling. Yes. <laughs> oh, you look as though you've been crying. I hoped you wouldn't notice. <laughs> Beryl. The GPO very kindly delivered this letter. Oh? I, I think it's an offence to send tear-stained literature through Her Majesty's mail. I had to dry out my entire writing pad in the airing cupboard. <laughs> I couldn't sleep either, or eat. Well, you, your mum's had a hearty breakfast then. <laughs> oh. Well, she made me eat five or six cornflakes because they're starving in India. <laughs> Beryl, you can't pack me in for not fancying you. It isn't true. It was last night. Ask that settee. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't. I'm very interested in the passionate fire that burns within you. Prove it. Pardon? See? Beryl, it's ten o'clock on a Saturday morning. When you're a man and I'm a woman and me mum's in the kitchen. Beryl. When you've got your sexy aftershave. Beryl, have some breakfast. Even though you haven't had a shave. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, Beryl. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a man, and you're a woman, and your mum's in the kitchen. Precisely. I'm fed up. I think I am. Girls are too complicated for me. It'd be easier having an affair with a radio telescope at Jodrell Bank. <laughs> Sir Bernard Lovell's very nice. He has very attractive ears. All girls are the same. They want you to play it cool till you actually do. Men do. And be shy till you actually are. So do men. And be Percy Filth till you actually try it. And men. Do you know what Venus had tattooed on her chest? No. Hard luck, lads. We are the champions. <laughs> you never want to Percy Filth when I do. You never do, Beryl. I did 
just now. Only because you knew we wouldn't. Well, you didn't, only because you thought we would. Pardon? <laughs> you only fancy me when I say no. So do you. Oh. <coughs> what we can't have, we want. And what we can, we don't. You're repulsive. <laughs> You're gruesome. Oh, oh Jerry. Gee, anyone? Oh, hi. Hello, Mrs. Battersby. Why, what well oiled doors you have. <laughs> I was just saying to Beryl. Yes. If Sir Alf Ramsey had brought on Nobby Styles to Mark Grabowski, we might have beaten Germany in the World Cup. And I was saying it was six months ago, and it's too late to do anything about it now, and he must try and forget it. I know what you two were doing. Do you? And neither of you can win. Uh, we know. Not when you play me at Scrabble. <laughs> Plotting to beat me, weren't you? Well, it occurred to me in the kitchen that I win last night's game. I can get all my letters out in one word. 50 points. Chastity. Pardon? <laughs> chastity wins. Is there a Y in chastity? Oh, yes, Mrs. Battersby. A very big one. <laughs> Not to mention a whopping great wherefore. Pardon? And I'll tell you something else pretty frightening. Have you got any sardine sandwiches left? No. Because I just fancy one. Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you.